My name is Betsy and today I am going to go over the 101s to juicing. I'm going to teach you my go-to juice which is packed full of nutrients that are going to help you with your day-to-day -day activities and overall health. Um, we're going to start with a beet and one of the big things about beets that people don't realize is that a lot of the nutrients come from the leaves so we're going to leave them on. Um, beets are very detoxifying and they are an anti-inflammatory. Um, the leaves are very similar to a Swiss chard, so if you choose to use that instead of an entire beet, that's perfectly fine. Um, also, beets are very um, colon cleansing, so you're going to notice a lot, of, a lot of cleaning out afterwards. Um, we're also going to do some carrots, and carrots are great, obviously, for your eyes, packed full of nutrients, they're really good for your eyes and your skin. Um, also, it is very good for reducing cardiovascular disease, which a lot of people don't know. Um, next, we're going to add some green apples, and I like to use green because they're a little bit more tart, so it adds a little bit more of a sweet tart flavor to the overall drink since we are using carrots and beets, which are a, lot, a little less sweet. Um, obviously, apples are packed full of fiber. They also reduce cholesterol and boost your immune system overall. Next is our ginger, and I like to add ginger just for the flavor majority. Um, but ginger is also good to help reduce nausea, so women who are pregnant, um, anyone who has gastro pains, ginger is probably your go-to. You just want to be very sparingly about it because some people really don't like ginger or they just like a little bit. It's very overpowering if you add too much. Um, the best reason that I started juicing is I've always struggled with acne, and since juicing within the past year, I have definitely seen a reduction in the amount of breakouts that I have. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if you feel as though you eat enough fruits and vegetables or if you, you don't eat any at all. This is definitely a great way to start and get more of those nutrients in your body and you're definitely going to see a change from the inside out. So we're going to start with the beets and you're going to see, I'm going to just throw the whole thing in, um, depending on the juicer that you're going to buy. Um, you may have to cut it up or the size of the beets, whatever, things like that. Next, we're going to start with the carrots. I just like to break them up just so they're a little bit shorter. Um, for anyone that likes to add kale or spinach or any type of leafy green, you'll notice that it takes a lot more to get juice out of them since there isn't a high water content. So a good tip, since we aren't actually using anything today, add if you're going to add it, add it between two high water soluble items. So for instance, I would add the carrots, then add the kale, then add more carrots on top of it. So we're just going to juice the carrots right now. So next on the list, we are going to do the apples, and obviously, same thing with the beets as the apples. Um, if you use a large apple, you're going to want to cut it, but since these are small apples, I can just toss it right in there. I'm going to throw the ginger in with it, just because they're small and it'll help juice both of them. Now, as you can see, I have it kind of mastered to an exact science as to my size of my cup. Um, there's really no method to my madness. There's no exact ingredients. Um, it's all kind of based on what you want, how much you want to drink, how much your juicer will juice. Um, it works out well that this glass fits perfectly under my, my juicer. So um, this glass I always use as my rule of thumb. This is a finished product. I'm just gonna take a sip. It's perfect. A lot of times I will put it in a to-go cup with a little bit of ice, but for the most part, this is your answer to adding more nutrients and fruits and vegetables into your diet. And I hope to share more with you later. Thank you.